the latest reporting, and we heard this just about an hour ago, is that it appears that uh, Schumer thinks he's going to be able to vote on this uh, Cinema Portman uh, infrastructure bill within like 24 hours. Right. There, and this is, I don't know, the one of the saddest statements we could ever make about anything. Um, I don't know if it's just human nature or American politics or what, or this era or, but um, they really want to get on va- to vacation. So it is creating a, um, a lot of incentive for them to just vote on this combined, oh, you know, the glory of our p- democracy. <laughs> I mean, if we could get between Kristen Cinema and her wine, I think we might have some real leverage here. Four I- trillion dollars worth of spending. She's got a wine tasting to get to. Let's go. I mean, honestly, it, it's it, I guess whatever it takes, but it is just an incredible. Um, it, it's an incredible dynamic. The other dynamic, which I've been talking about for a while, is that. R- uh, Democrats and are there, you know, uh, deficiencies and uh, of course, but they're trying to pass four trillion dollars of new spending that are going to have structural implications for our economy and um, universal pre-K, free community college. I mean, I would just go on and on here. Uh, a, a child uh, allowance that, that will last at least five years and be hard to roll back. All of these things. And there's much more. And and it, it certainly will be the, the biggest, uh, certainly the biggest expenditure of uh, federal expenditure in terms of like programs since I think like Medicare. Um, and then... The Republicans are really worried about critical race theory being taught to kindergartners. Ah, you know, one side says this, the other side says this, and it's hard to determine who's correct, right? What's fascinating is, let's take a dip into that world. Mm. Here is Senator Bill Cassidy, and he's on with um, a, a Fox White House correspondent, Jackie Heinrich, and... Um, Here's Bill Cassidy lamenting the fact that he belongs to the Republican Party in some way. Down the MAGA rabbit hole we go. Now, you also had to clear up some misinformation about critical race theory in this bill. You said on Twitter that equity is not a catchphrase for CRT. Uh, Were you surprised you had to address that? And what does it say about how far apart the two parties are? No, I will say that people are deliberately misrepresenting the bill. There is one single line, or maybe two, maybe three, in this bill, which which says that if you take a grant from the federal government, you cannot discriminate. And then it plugs in anti-discrimination language, which is already in federal law. Okay, so I get a grant. I'm supposed to make sure everybody has access to the Internet. Should I be allowed to discriminate? Of course not. It has nothing to do with CRT. It is um, uh, uh, something put out there, misinformation by those who should know better, in an, in an effort to decrease support for bridges, roads, flood protection, coastal restoration, and hundreds of thousands of jobs. I don't know why they're doing it. So it, at this stage, you don't know why they're doing it? Well, I mean, who are those people that should know better? That's the thing is these anti-CRT people, if they were honest about it, they would say, yes, you should be able to discriminate. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. <laughs> right. That's the other thing. He thinks he's out of the hot water. Like, I mean, it's already and and, and this is just it, it's fascinating. I mean, there is a fascinating dynamic here in that. Um, and, and I don't know who, you know, who's watching, you know, uh, Fox Weekend. I mean, uh, I'd like to see him go on, you know, uh, on Tucker. And Although say we that, did see him go um, on Laura Ingram. Right. right and, and get and get got screamed testy. Down. Yeah. Um, the the. The Republican Party, their their base, does not like their uh, politicians. Um, and, and there's no judgment on my part here. This is a dynamic that people should understand. This guy's going to pass an infrastructure bill, the the benefits of which are are largely going to accrue to his constituents and to Republican constituents as well. I mean, also Democratic constituents. But well, they didn't is, like their politicians until one guy came around. Well, that's true. But but the um, uh, the, the point being that Democrats, for better or for worse, uh, generally like their politicians. And we saw this play out in Ohio to some extent with uh, Nina Turner's loss. 
I think probably Democrats subscribe to her vision of what America would be like. We know this from the polling in terms of Medicare for all and um, and and other proposals, but they just have an affinity for 90 percent of Democrats support Joe Biden, the Schumer and Pelosi, as much as um, it uh, may frustrate us. And I don't necessarily share this perspective. I don't. Uh, they're like 40 uh, percent approval rating, positive approval rating. 40 plus. F- 40 point. plus yeah. in terms of like they're favorable to unfavorable. Right. And so this is a dynamic that uh, those of us who uh, are to the left of the, 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 the center of the Democratic Party need to be aware of. Um, but it's also fascinating in terms of the Republicans, like they're going to pay for passing this infrastructure bill and they are caught between a rock and a hard place because they cannot appeal to those voters that they lost uh or have sort of uh, drifted for them because of donald trump and also their base just in voting for uh, like for an infrastructure bill this is not a controversial thing right well i mean so that's the split they the the republicans within the, they're fine eating each other i guess and ripping each other limb from limb in the republican caucus as long as they can get some brownie points on critical race theory see you know whoever the most maga senator is is fine with throwing cassidy under the bus because his bipartisan infrastructure framework includes the word equity or equality and then oh with some buzz- just a reiteration of what's already in federal law you cannot discriminate yeah but if you're getting governmental grants right but it secretly means critical race theory so look at me i'm the guy that's looking out for you and i'm the one who's not going to be in favor of indoctrinating your children through infrastructure question mark uh and uh don't worry they'll stay pure and white and so that's the game that they play they're fine with that because they have a larger project in mind um and they'll just shuffle in if cast these out some other corporate drone who can do the bidding of their donors in the republican party and the and the the the, the conservative projects it's a different dynamic should uh, be interesting to see uh and if i if i'm the democratic party as soon as this bill uh, passes i tout the equity in it folks there's more of what you've just saw where that came from that's if you hit the subscribe and like button thank you really thank you